Have you ever wondered how the giant ripe jackfruits and Ganoderma mushrooms you see in the markets are harvested and sold? This is something we seldom think about as we fill our shopping baskets with these delicious items. The journey of these products from the tree and forest floor to the market stall is a fascinating one, filled with hard work, dedication, and a deep understanding of nature's cycles. Ripe jackfruits and Ganoderma mushrooms hold a special place in many cuisines around the world, their unique flavors and textures adding depth and character to dishes. These fruits and fungi are highly sought after in the market, their demand often outpacing supply. We'll take a closer look at this process, shedding light on the behind the scenes action that brings these fresh and delectable products to your table. So, are you ready to delve into the world of harvesting and selling these wonderful produce? Stay tuned to find out about the step-by-step -step process behind harvesting and selling these fresh and delicious products. It all starts with a single seed, the seed of a jackfruit tree. This is the beginning of a journey for a tiny seed that will eventually grow into a towering tree, bearing the world's largest fruit. A jackfruit seed, when planted, embarks on an incredible transformation. The first stage of this journey is germination. Enveloped in the nurturing soil, the seed begins to absorb moisture. With the right combination of warmth, water and good soil, the seed breaks open, sending out its first root and shoot, marking the inception of a new life. As weeks turn into months, the sprout grows into a seedling, with leaves unfurling and roots delving deeper into the earth. This is a crucial phase as the young plant starts photosynthesizing, converting sunlight into the energy it needs for growth. With the passing of years, our seedling evolves into a young tree, growing taller, stronger, and sprouting more leaves. It's at this stage, around three to four years in, that the jackfruit tree starts to flower. The flowers, often overlooked, are a marvel in themselves. They cluster together on the trunk and older branches, a phenomenon known as cauliflory. The flowering stage is a precursor to the fruiting phase. Each flower has the potential to transform into a jackfruit. However, it's not until the tree hits the age of seven to eight years that it starts bearing substantial fruit. The jackfruits, when young, are small and green with a prickly exterior. Over a period of three to four months, they grow bigger and heavier, sometimes reaching up to 80 pounds in weight. Yes, you heard it right, 80 pounds. The fruits ripen, their green color fading to a more yellowish hue, and the distinctive sweet aroma of ripe jackfruit fills the air. And so, the life cycle of the jackfruit tree comes full circle. From a tiny seed to a giant fruit-bearing tree, it's a testament to nature's wonder. Now that the tree has matured and the fruits are ripe, it's time for the harvest. Harvesting jackfruits is a task that requires skill and patience. It's not just about plucking a fruit from a tree. It's a delicate dance that requires careful timing, a keen eye and gentle hands. The process begins with identifying the right time to harvest. It's crucial to remember that jackfruits don't ripen all at once. Each fruit has its own timeline, and it's our job to listen and observe. When the jackfruit's green skin begins to yield slightly under pressure, that's your cue. It's also helpful to keep an eye out for a change in color, from a deep, vibrant green to a lighter, muted shade. But the most telltale sign of a ripe jackfruit is its unique fragrance, a sweet, tropical scent that's hard to miss. When you catch a whiff of that enticing aroma, you know it's time to harvest. Now onto the actual harvesting. This isn't a task you can rush. It demands precision and care. Jackfruits are heavy, some weighing as much as 80 pounds. They hang from the tree, attached by a thick stem. The trick is to cut the stem without damaging the fruit or causing it to fall and split open. To do this, we use a sharp, long-handled knife or a saw. We make a deep incision into the stem, but not all the way through. Then we carefully twist and pull the fruit until it separates from the tree. Once the jackfruit is safely on the ground, we give it a quick once over. We're looking for any signs of damage or disease. A healthy jackfruit should have a uniform color and feel firm but not hard. The final step is to clean the fruit. We wash it thoroughly to remove any sap residue and then pat it dry. This helps to preserve the fruit's freshness and prolongs its shelf life. And there you have it, the intricate process of harvesting ripe jackfruits. It's a labor of love, but the reward is worth every moment. With the ripe jackfruits harvested, the next step is to prepare them for the market. Moving on to Ganoderma mushrooms, these fungi have a unique life cycle that differs from that of fruit trees. Unlike fruit trees, which grow from seeds, Ganoderma mushrooms begin their journey as spores. These tiny microscopic particles are released into the air by mature mushrooms. 
Each spore is a potential new mushroom waiting for the right conditions to start its growth process. These spores, lighter than a feather, float through the air until they land on a suitable substrate. This could be a fallen log, a decaying tree stump, or specially prepared mushroom beds for cultivated varieties. The spore then germinates, sending out thread-like structures called hyphae. These hyphae spread into the substrate, absorbing nutrients and growing. As they grow, they form a network of interconnected hyphae, known as mycelium. This mycelium is the true body of the mushroom, while the part we commonly refer to as the mushroom is actually the fruiting body. As the mycelium continues to grow and spread, it eventually reaches a point where it's ready to reproduce. This is when the fruiting body, the part we recognize as the mushroom, starts to form. From a small bud, it grows rapidly over a few days, forming the familiar cap and stem structure. The cap is covered in thousands of tiny structures called gills, each producing millions of spores ready to start the cycle all over again. The growth of Ganoderma mushrooms requires specific conditions. They prefer a humid environment with a consistent temperature and plenty of organic material to feed on. This is why you'll often find them in damp forested areas or growing on decaying wood. Once the mushrooms have matured, they are ready to be harvested. But it's not just about picking them at the right time. The way they are harvested can also have an impact on their quality and medicinal properties. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's just appreciate the fascinating life cycle of these remarkable fungi. Harvesting Ganoderma mushrooms is a delicate process. It's not like plucking apples from a tree or digging potatoes from the ground. This process requires attention, patience, and a gentle hand. These mushrooms, often referred to as the mushroom of immortality in traditional Asian medicine, grow on the sides of trees or logs. The harvest begins when these fungi reach a certain size, usually when the cap is fully matured and the spores are ready to disperse. The harvester must approach the task with care as the mushrooms are fragile and can easily be damaged. Using a sharp knife, the stem is cut as close to the wood as possible, ensuring the mushroom comes away whole and undamaged. This is crucial as it helps maintain the mushroom's medicinal properties. Once harvested, the mushrooms are gently cleaned and prepared for drying, a crucial step before they can be sold. With the mushrooms harvested, it's now time to sell these products in the market. Selling fresh produce in the market comes with its own set of challenges and rewards. Now that we've harvested these bountiful jackfruits and Ganoderma mushrooms, it's time to take them to market. This is where the real work begins, the hustle and bustle of selling, where every decision can make or break the day's profits. Selling fresh produce is a delicate balance of supply and demand. We have to sell our products while they're still at their peak freshness, but we also have to make sure we're meeting customer demand. It's a dance, really, one that requires a keen eye and a knack for timing. Marketing strategies are crucial for attracting customers. The first step is presentation. We make sure our fruits and mushrooms are displayed attractively, showcasing their size, color, and freshness. A well-arranged display can draw the customers in, enticing them to take a closer look and hopefully make a purchase. Pricing is another crucial aspect. We aim for a price that reflects the quality of our produce and the hard work that went into growing them, but also one that's competitive and appealing to the customers. It's a fine line to walk, but it's essential for successful selling. Then there's the art of customer interaction. We greet each potential buyer with a smile, answering their questions, explaining the benefits of our products, and sometimes even sharing a recipe or two. It's all about building a connection, making the customer feel valued. Promotions and discounts can also be effective strategies, especially when we have a surplus of products. Offering a deal can encourage customers to buy more, reducing the risk of our produce going unsold. Selling is a game of strategy, one that requires constant adaptation to the ever-changing market conditions. But when you see your hard-grown produce being appreciated and enjoyed by others, it's all worth it. And that, my friends, is the journey of a jackfruit and a Ganoderma mushroom, from the farm to your plate.